Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at how to find the perimeter of a parallelogram. Okay, to find the perimeter of a parallelogram, you kind of have two methods. You can just use the formula perimeter is equal to adding up the four sides. Or you can use a more formal formula where you take two, the perimeter is equal to two lengths plus two widths. Okay, first of all, let's go up to our parallelogram and label the sides. We have this side is 3, and we know in order to be a parallelogram, the opposite sides are not only parallel, which is what these arrow symbols mean, but they're also congruent. So if this is 3, this side's 3. If the first top base is 10, then the bottom base is 10. And I can add all four sides. So I can add 3 plus 10 plus 3 plus 10, and that gives me 26 units. So that would be the perimeter. Or we can use the formula. So that's adding the four sides. Or we can use the perimeter formula, two lengths plus two widths. So to find the perimeter, I can take two times my length, which is 10, plus two times my width, which is three. And two times 10 is 20, plus two times three is six. So I get the same answer, 26. So those are your two options to find the perimeter. Okay, now let's look at one that's a little more involved. Let's look at one where we have one base and we're given the altitude or the height, but we don't know that one of the sides of our parallelogram. How would we find it? Okay, first of all, I'm gonna have to give you an angle measure. I'll give you this as 60, because you're gonna need to know something to solve for that missing side. Okay, if this base is eight, we know that this bottom base is also eight. But notice we don't know anything about these two sides to add for the perimeter, because logically people would say, oh, I'm gonna label all, both top and bottom eight and the side and side six, but remember, this is an altitude, and it's not the same as the length of this side. Notice we have a right triangle here. Okay, we have this side is six. We need this side over here, which is actually the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Okay, we can use our 30, 60, 90 rules. Notice this is 60. This is a right angle because we've dropped an altitude down, which forces this angle up here to be 30. So down here, I actually have a short leg and I have a hypotenuse, and I can use my 30, 60, 90 rules. So let's write our 60, 30, 60, 90 rules down. Uh, remember the rules are x, x square root three for the long leg, and two x for the hypotenuse. Since we have the long leg, I'm gonna set it equal to x square root three. To solve for the short leg, I'm gonna divide by the square root of three. And six divided by the square root of three, we just rationalize that. So six square root three times the square root of three, or six divided by the square root of three. And then I'm gonna multiply by square root three over square root three to clean it up. And square root of three times square root of three is square root of nine, or just three and over six square root three. And that simplifies down to those cancel out or reduce to two square root three. So I know the short leg is two root three. Now, remember, the 30, 60, 90 rule says that I can double that to get the hypotenuse. So I take two square root three just times two, and that gives me four square root three for the hypotenuse. So I'm gonna use four square root three as this hypotenuse. And guess what? That hypotenuse is the side of our parallelogram. So if this side is four square root three, I can label this side four square root three. Now I can add the four sides up. So what are my four sides now? Well, my top and bottom are both eight. So two lengths is 16 plus two widths. My width is four square root three. Two times four square root three gives me eight square root three. And that would be my final answer because you can't add a constant and a radicand together. You just leave it like this. So it's 16 plus eight square root three units is the perimeter. Hope this video was helpful.